Hello, welcome. I'm going to play Sports Talk Baseball on the Sega Genesis. It jumps to a demo really fast. Let me just quickly breeze through this menu option. You can turn off the announcer, continue a previous season, or just go to the menu where you pick from you know, season exhibition or all-star game, which they call all-pro game. This game doesn't have MLB licensing, it has MLBPA licensing, which is the Players Association. So you have the real players and the names, but no team logos, no team names. So pennant race is the season. I'll show you all of these before I end the video. Let me start with an exhibition game. Now, I commented when I did Tom and Sword of Baseball that I'd probably play a few games, a few baseball video games, as we wait for an MLB season that may or may not happen. And a comment, I received a comment from a Mariners fan, so I'm going to play a Seattle rather than the World Series teams like I sometimes do. The World Series in 1991, which is, you know, the season before this game released, but basically the teams are based on the 91 season, so that would have been Twins and Braves. I skipped by, wasn't paying attention. Seattle. And I'm gonna go with the Blue Jays here. It's a fun team back in 91. They were actually in the postseason. Lost to the Twins. I think this is the year where that last game of the World Series. Extra innings with Kirby Puckett. I could be wrong, but I think he had a walk off. I was watching it, and I'm pretty sure that was 91. So you get three stadium choices now. There's some interesting things with this. Whereas the pitcher batter screen is always the white sky dome. It's not the sky dome, like the Blue Jays sky dome. It's, you know, you'll notice white sky, blue moon, red sun, and then they just add dome or stadium at the end. I'm gonna go with the dome in this game. I'm playing with two dome teams. I don't like Red Sun, but I'll show you every stadium before I finish the video. So here you can change if you wanna you know batter field first. So fielding team will be the home team. Manual are auto fielders. The fielders will move on their own. You just have more control as in manual, but they'll still move toward the ball. A roster changes, you can actually change the team, like it doesn't have to be th this team, I think is what it's saying. I should have looked at that, because in the All-Star game, you can change the t players that are on the All-Star team. I'm not sure if you can do that here to old Randy Johnson, because yeah, here's where you edit the lineups. I think you can just swap players between teams you want to, but you could do see that in the all-star game, which would make more sense. So I'll just leave the default lineups here. The game does have a fold-out poster, which has all the team rosters listed with stats. Like I said, this screen is the same regardless of what stadium you choose, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I'm sure it's just, you know, the memory of the car crew didn't get fit, so they didn't make the different pitching screens for every single stadium. This would be the Dome Stadium, I believe, because it has the green wall. Delivered. Swing and a ground ball to second. Got it. The throw to first. He's out. The microphone may pick up my chair as <laughs> I squeaks. And the controller buttons I'm hitting. Delivered. Curve. Strike one. This announcer sounds very similar. The oh, I moved the fielder he out of the way. The oh, he kicked the ball. He kicked it twice. It up, the the announcer sounds a lot the like Next the one in starting lineup. Two, that, um... Sure, double check the name. <laughs> now I forgot the name. Uh, that, it is the toy. I re made it. It's the first video I made. Right I think for the channel. The the it's starting to line a baseball second, game from um, Parker Brothers. It's just a like a handheld type thing. It's, it's an electronic game. Which 
trying to steal third. So, I think it's the same technology, maybe the same everything. Oh, they're hitting a lot. That's not bad for an early attempt, but after a while, I mean, you hear everything. It's fairly accurate, but it's kind of behind if the, when the action moves fast. These guys are speedy, I guess. They like to steal. The runner, he's back. The throw goes to second. He's safe. Delivered. Line drive. The left fielder makes the play. He's out. Side retired. Maybe that back wall isn't even green, but I think in Blue Moon Stadium it's a giant blue wall. And Red Sun is just Leading off, ugly, but <laughs> that's why I never use that stadium. The is, when you play season play, Next you choose a stadium, and that's the stadium of every Delivered. single game, regardless of your home or away. So you gotta make sure you pick one you like. It's thrifty. Yeah, I'm moving really quick. <laughs> I swing at everything. Next I never walk in this seven. game or most games. Oh, it's good. It's Kevin Mitchell. There's Sonic the Hedgehog on the scoreboard. And they let you know it's a home run. You can read that. <laughs> you don't get to see the player running, though. You always just have to watch the home run. Oh, back to back. Jay Buhner. That is far. Nice. So this park's kind of like the middle ground as far as how deep it is. Red Sun's really tiny, and Blue Moon just has the high wall, so you have to hit the home runs high. It's a line drives aren't going to go out in Blue Moon. Alright, so we got some nice back-to-back -back home runs. There's Dave Winfield. I probably, if I didn't have a comment, I probably would have either chosen the World Series teams or Blue Jays, just because they have a good team, and I like Dave Winfield. Down the line to left. Oh, that's a nice shot. He's got a double. He has it. The throw goes to third. Next up, number nine. Pitching up is... Alright, basically you can throw... Every pitcher has the same pitches as far as I know. Fastball. Change up. And then breaking balls left to right. And you select Next that up, when you throw, but... I don't have really. Don't you really have control after. It doesn't feel like it with certain pitches. Here's a changeup. Change Very outside. slow. Ball two. Of course, this is Randy Johnson, so I should try throwing fastballs with the probably launch the, the fastball. Ah, oh, you could have that. Oh. He has it and throws to second. The runner scores. Base this hit. game has the Next up, number ten run rule where if you get a ten run lead. You have a 10 run lead at the end of an inning, you win the game, so it the pitch on the way. Curve. You can end Inside. quickly. Ball one. The pitch. Line drive. Down the oh line. man, they're it getting some in. good hits. They could score two. Peter does some odd things on the base pass. You can get double plays <laughs> that are up, somewhat unusual. Four. I said a terrible hitter. If this guy gets a hit, Delivered. that would stink. Hit foul. Not even anyone out. Swing and a ground ball to yeah. second. Pick See, like, look at this. They first. went. Out. They got. <laughs> they got really confused there. Double play. double play because one runner tried to go back to third, but the guy from second was already there, and so then he had to turn back to home. And too bad. It's too late. Ball up the middle. Oh, you know, I should just not touch the, the D-pad because I, I moved the field out of the way again. Next up, number 12. Well, I gave back those three runs really quick. The pitch on the way. Hit Still hard. Running to too. Close to first. He's out. Three away. After one and a half. With the score, getting to see a lot of action three, here. Three, Tino Martinez is up 
This is before he got number 14. Good. <laughs> He's at 205 with four home runs. He'll be a rookie at this point. That was a good shot. Next up, number 10. You can see on the screen, I know I'm going fast. I mean, three can figure everything out. Get the pitcher stamina on there, which is still high because I'm swinging at everything. I'll take the ball there. I'm trying to bump. I ran, but he still didn't make it. Next up, number four, heading two. I'll try to bunt for a hit here. Oh, that's a bad bunt. <laughs> trying to get it down the line. You can get hits if you put it down the line. See, then they kind of tell you if the hitter. I think it's, I think it's saying if it's a, they're stronger. Power from the left to right, maybe? <laughs> and I try to sure how to read that. Oh, Joe Carter just launched it. They don't show you the, the speed, though, which I don't like. I, I wish they showed stolen bases so I'd have an idea who's fast when they're on the base paths. This average and home runs. Oh, they're running. I threw a changeup. <laughs> I didn't expect Joe Carter to run. Peter's really aggressive. Here it comes. Hit hard. Right to second. Close to the plate. Base hit. Yeah, Randy Johnson's not doing so hot, but I'm Next sure it's more me than him. The pitch curve outside. Ball one. The pitch, swing and a ground ball. Should have dove. He has it close to third. The runner scores, base hit. He can't dive and he can't jump. You just have Next to let up, go. When you jump straight up, you have to let go of the D pad. But the other, otherwise, you have to, you know, press the D pad and hold the button to Delivered. dive. Curve takes it. Call strike. Strike one. The pitch on the way. Line drive to center. It drops in. <laughs> I get some good hits, and he has it close to I don't strike many the out. I have um, the runner, he's back. a book of statistics I kept track of, which I'm going to show at the end of this Next video. Up, if you, and you can turn it off when I'm done playing. Otherwise, I'm going to go to um, showing a notebook I have. I'm going to get rid of Andy, even though it's probably just me playing bad. And I'll show you a bunch of stats now. I rarely strike people out pitching, and I rarely strike out hitting. Number 39 comes into pitch. He delivers. Curve inside. Ball hmm. one. Thought that might be a strike. Here comes the pitch. Hit the first. Foul. And because the game ends with a 10 roll, 10 run lead. Curve. You can't, you can just score a lot of runs, but it has to be done, you know, in one inning if you want to have a ridiculous curve. score. Oh, look, I got a strike. I might be in curve the pitches if I... Oh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, they confused me there with their ridiculous running back and forth. I was thinking there were two outs, there's one out. Yeah, I could have gotten out of this inning, I think, if I just paid attention to what the computer was Curve. doing there. Inside, I threw one. home. He probably would have turned around. Delivered. The runner heads for home. Swing and a ground ball. Probably to could second. have tried for Picked two, but... Close to first. Out. Next up, number 19. I don't know if I would have gotten out of this. Yeah, Here comes the pitch. I fly, sink to right. Oh, no. In. The runner comes in to score. And throws well, I may second. have given up. The runner up. comes in to score. The runner going for three. Close to third. A ten the run loss. <laughs> I fall behind my ten runs. In the top of uh. the third. Toronto, eight, Seattle, three. This is okay. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you other games, like I said. So, if this game is shortened by any margin, that is fine. I'm saying... Next because I have a book full of stats, just looking through it, it looks like the most runs I ever scored is 23. 
a second. Not in time. Next up, number seven. Delivered. Hits a second. Great stop. The throw goes to first. He's out. There comes the throw. Next up, number nine. He can move around Here all over in the batter's Curve box. Takes it, I don't know strike, how much strike one. it Delivered. matters as far as when you're standing when you hit. Strike two. Here it comes. Ball up the middle. Got it. Uh, throw home. Oh, because there's the Cowboys. <laughs> that was going to score. With oh. the score, Toronto eight, Seattle three. Well, I am playing a good offensive Leading team, off which maybe I shouldn't have done, but the pitch curve yeah, it doesn't matter who, who wins. Here it comes. Ground ball to short. Got it. The throw to second. I'm really just hitting the button and throwing regardless of uh pitch I'm throwing and not paying too much attention. Yeah, they like to run. This catcher seems to have a weak arm. I, I played a little before I started recording. I threw a few runners out with different team. Close to third. I don't know why they're bothering to steal third with a five-run lead and no one out on in scoring position. <laughs> yeah, the computer, like, it, it just does odd things on the base pass. Here it comes. Curve. Inside. I mean, you don't expect three. the AI to be super smart, I guess, in 1992. Curve. Inside. Ball four. Oh, I Better walked. Get the base on ball. Next up, number yeah, that's probably 17. their best hitter. The oh, pitch. and he's running too, like he did last it. time he was on base, Strike right? One. Close to second. The runner steals second. He's safe. Here comes the pitch. Fat ball. Inside. Ball one. The pitch. Line drive to short. The second baseman Double makes the play. play. The runner, he's back. Close to second. Double play. Side retires. No run. One hit, no errors. And no one left on. In the top of the fourth, Toronto eight, Seattle three. Screwball, swing and a miss. Strike one. Line drive to the center. Nope. The center oh. fielder makes the play. I think I mentioned it. Next I always mention it when I play is that two, oh, five. Screwball, I do play through the 32X. Line drive to it's easier because Close I can out with you know, the better cables. Next I use the video 10, of the 32X, but I use the, the audio of the Genesis. Curve. This is a Model Wait 1 a Genesis with right stereo one. sound. Oh, hits are going north. Not every game works through, through the 32X, which is 32. why certain games I haven't it's been a record, but some haven't. The pitch. I can output to the Genesis if I go through my VCR. I can plug that into the VCR and then output with the AV cables from the VCR, which is what I do for the Intellivision. It's just kind of, I leave the Intellivision hooked up, so it's kind of a pain to swap back and forth. Oh, I threw the wrong base. <laughs> yeah. Next up, number nine. Now, I can't imagine they're going to be running. Winfield had some speed in it his early days, but at this point, he started playing in the late 70s, so I don't think he'd run pitch. here. Ball one. The pitch. Ground ball to second. Close to second. Got him. Close to first. He's All right. I'm going to double play. play. Next up, number 25. Here comes the pitch. Line drive to center. It drops in. Close to second. Next up, number 21. Pitchers. Here it comes. Change the outside. Ball one. He delivers. Off speed pitch. Called strike. Strike one. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball to short. The throw goes to second. Got him. Three away. No down. Two hit. No error. And one left on. I right, time four. to try some bunting and again, maybe. I like the bunt. It can be fun, but... Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Can make it. Yes. Close to first. Not in time. The throw goes to second. Next up, number four. The bunt. Oh, this is a good one, too. He has it. The throw to second. Back-to-back bunt singles. The throw goes to first. 
If he had thrown the first, I don't know. But he didn't, so. Nice. Bases will be loaded. Time for a grand slam. Next up, number 20. For Griffey, that'd be sweet. The runner in nope. for home. I'm gonna get it through. Game gets a little slow when there's a, when there's a lot of uh, base runners. I've noticed sometimes it can chug, get a little choppy. Well, getting singles at least. So I'd like to see a grand slam. I don't know who's on the bench. I'm gonna reach a point where these guys have no power. Oh, they're gonna get him in super slow motion. <laughs> so there aren't any power swings. It's just swinger bunt. Oh, this looks pretty good. Off the wall. I'm just gonna hold up though. And I probably could have scored again. Next up, number 14. Here comes the pitch. Change I don't think I can hit a grand slam with these guys at the bottom of the order, though. Uh oh. I should have kept running before. Well, it was a fun inning, but I should have scored more. I think it's time to change pitchers. He has stamina, but it's an exhibition game, so we got plenty of pitchers. Let's check out the uh, relief pitchers. That's it. it does show pitches they're best at. Here's the guy's good with the fastball. That's all for number 39. Number 40 comes into pitch. Here it comes. Curve. He takes it. Strike one. The pitch. Line drive. Right to second. The second baseman makes the play. Out. Next up, number 19. Here it comes. Curve. He takes it. Called strike. Here it comes. Swing and a ground ball to second. Close to first. In I get some quick outs. Next up, number 12. He delivers. Curve takes it. Strike one. He delivers. Drop ball to second. He has it. Close to first. Got him. Side retired. After five. And a half. Toronto, eight. Seattle, six. Yeah, I did see this Blue Jays team play, I believe. Leading off, I'm trying to think 10. what year. Right? I went to the Toronto Sky Dome. In the early 90s. Oh, I popped off a bunt. I don't know what year exactly it was. Next up, number 13. The bunt is on. Drop off to short. Got it. I went to the Sky Dome one time. It was the year the Blue Jays hosted the All Star. All Star game. Drop off down the line to left. I guess I should stop trying my bunting. <laughs> when it works, it's fun. But yeah, it's not any better than a bunt. I know it was around this time. Roberto Alomar was on the bag of potato chips. I still have that in the bag. So I think it was a different year than this. I think, well, it might have been 92, but it was... Oh, no. Next up, number 17. Well, I guess I had to Delivered. see who's on the bench of this team. All I remember yeah, is an extra inning game. Second. I want to say it was Mark Witten who hit a home run in extra innings for the Next Blue Jays. Up, to win the game. Delivered. I don't know if he's on the Fat bench of that, in this Wait game. One. The count is he's not in the starting one. line. The runner heads for second. Close not to that second. I noticed the anyway. Runner steals second. <laughs> not in complete five. attention. Delivered. See my the relief pitcher's really third. tired. Line drive to short and makes a great catch. Double play. Yeah, it was a double five. play because the runner ran into me while I was holding the, the ball. Score, Toronto, eight, Seattle, six. Leading off, number eleven. Swing and swinging to it. Uh, I went through. I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's Next tie this up, game up. Oh, we had those early home runs. Nothing since. Oh, they tied. 
stop. Down to second. On to first for two. He's out. Double play. Next up, number seven. Drive ball down the line to right. And it holds foul. The count is 0 and 1. Drive ball up the middle. The throw to the oh, He's going to the eighth inning. No run. One hit, no errors. And no one left on. After seven, Toronto. Eight, Seattle. Six. Leading off, number nine. Let's change the picture again. That's all for number 40. Number 37 comes into pitch. Delivered. Curve takes it. Called strike. Strike one. He delivers. Fastball. Inside. Ball one. The pitch on the way. Hit hard, right to second. The second baseman makes the action happens so He's fast. I was gonna jump, but he had already caught it. But it was going over his head. Uh, that didn't look like I could possibly get it, but I did <laughs> on the dive. Curve, strike call. The pitch on the way. Hit down the line to left. Have home run derbies yet? Yeah, games are not this game. And we're sort of. They had some nice dives there, third base. Leading off, number 19. Oh, finally, another home run. Don't think there have been any errors, have they? Next up, they number been? 12. Oh, the pitcher's tired. Oh, yeah, nice shot. Strike two. The pitch. Hit the kill. He has it. And throws the first. Got him. Sometimes they do boot the ball and drop a ball. Time out. It's just a pop fly. Time out. I was practicing. I saw quite a few errors. Oh, the all-star. He was playing. Wait a minute. Strike two. He delivers. Off way up to second. He makes the cut. Out. All right, down by a run. Bottom of the east. Next two out. Number ten. Batting one ninety four. Swing and a ground ball. Um, to short. Close the first. Now it's going to come down to the ninth three inning. Three away. After eight, Toronto. Eight, Seattle. Seven. Hopefully you can keep Leading them off, from scoring. Number four. Hitting two thirty four. Swing and a ground ball to short. Picks it up, throws to first. He's out. Next up, number 19. Hitting 282. Swing and a ground ball to short. Picks it up, throws to first. In Two five. quick outs. Next up, number 12. A 295 batter. Curve. In five. Delivered. Curve. Call strike. Strike one. Here it comes. Hit to second. Oh, I should have had that. Now this could be trouble. He's probably going to run. Next up, number 29. The pitch on the way. Fastball. Outside. Ball one. The runner ah, hits for second. Has really Close to second. The runner steals second. Safe. He may even run again. Here yep. comes the pitch. Fastball. Outside. Ball two. Then we got the runner hits for third. The throw to third. They got him. Out. Well, thank you, computer, for <laughs> trying to steal third no a few times one this hit, game. No errors, and no one left on. In the top of the night, with the oh, score, he's Toronto, a pinch hitter. He was on this bench. No power. See what is the base running, fielding, throwing, and I guess the bat is just hitting in general. We'll go with number twenty-five Jones. goes in, but number thirteen leading off. Number twenty-five hitting two fifty-one. Oh, strikes already. Hit hard. Oh, he nope. has a play oh. and makes the catch. Out. Next up, number four, hitting two fifty-four. Well, Reynolds isn't great, but there's he nothing great on the bench one. either. Drive ball foul. Yeah. Uh. Delivered. Swing and a ground ball to second. Picks it up, throws the first. Down to the final out. It's Edgar. Next up, Martinez. number eleven. 
Oh well, it's a pretty good game with Pete Seven. Yeah, Tommy sort of, I guess, it was probably the same thing. It was that woman standing there at the scoreboard, but here you can see it much easier. It's supposed to be a news broadcast. I gave up way too many hits. Yeah, it'll picture somebody. The Sega cap on. Alright, so I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm not going to play another full game. I'm just going to show you the other stadiums. And modes, I guess, even though they all look the same. So, pennant race. You can play a full season. And just like how games can end if you get a 10 run lead, the season ends as soon as you clinch, and if you do really well, which is more than likely, you can end the season like 30, 40 games early. I'm going to start up with the Cubs. And try this Red Sun Stadium. Now, as I said, you're going to notice the, the pitching batting is the same as what we just saw even though this is not a domed stadium we'll take Greg Maddox I'm just gonna play one inning or so it's time to play ball Chicago this stadium bothers me I never use it because I think it's bright green really is the whole stadium is ugly it's <laughs> It's the worst stadium in the game, but it's the smallest one, so you likely hit the most home runs here. The green and the fence is ugly too. It's kind of jarring switching from this green to that green. Here comes the pitch. Fastball. Inside. Ball one. The throw to second. The runner steals second. I drove all the catchers so slow. I think they are, but they do have a stat based on their throwing, so I'm pretty Here sure. The pitch. Just Curve. Inside. Catchers. Ball but you can see how the, the stadium just looks completely different because, because this is dome. You're looking at turf, and there's none of the dirt paths between bases or from pitching mound to home plate. Curve. Inside. Ball three. The pitch. The runner heads for third. I Swing guess it doesn't have the mound to home plate the there, but it has it. obviously a the full hit. dirt diamond there. It's just not Next on the screen. It's just odd. But again, I, I'm sure it's just the limitations at the time. He delivers. Swing and a ground ball to short. Close to second. On to first for two. Double play. The runner scores. Next up, number 24. I'll just play an inning, I guess. You can see the Cubs hitters a bit. The computer Back likes to ball. run. The count is one and, ball. and they steal the all the time, too. They're, the they're, they're making the almost... Second. I think the every time they steal second, second they make it. Time. And now they want third. Inside. Ball two. Close oh, they made it that the time. I don't even know who's on the that hit. base pass. The runner hits attention. for home. Hit to second. Yeah. Base hit. The runner comes in to score. Next up, number seven. He delivers. Curve takes it. Strike one. I think I was on a bit of a baseball binge in the early the 90s the because I. For second. Ground ball to second. It's also he when I went to the, the baseball hall of fame. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Third. Three to third, and then they all. That guy goes to second. second. There with a Next I went to the Hall of Fame. Maybe the year if I went to the Sky Dome. That, that was during the postseason. I remember the Pirates were in the playoffs. The pitch on the way. Off speed pitch. Outside. Ball two. Off speed pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The batter is three away. In the top of the first, with the score, Pittsburgh two, Chicago coming up. 
Leading off, number 38, up to 57 batter. Swing and a ground ball. The second first. Out. Next up, number 17. The pitch, Grace. fastball. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Kind of a hit if you want to see Andre Dawson, five. but that's right not a hit either. Second. He has it. Close to first. In time. And then next Sandberg, and then Dawson will be next. But I stunk. And so that's that. Alright, so I'm going to show you the other stadium in an all-pro game, as they call it. I guess All-Star is part of the licensing, maybe. I think it's generic enough that it doesn't matter, but... Edit the lineups, as I was saying earlier. You can change, you know, change the player. That. Maybe that's what roster changes is. You can edit a lot of stuff. Um, start as the feelers. I'll turn on auto fielding. It's time to play ball. Okay, the edit is edited in the lineups, and then rosters edit who's on the team. Well, these colors. <laughs> I played earlier. The opposite who was on the way. Curve, the home team, but the AL looks really bright there. I don't know, it looks strange. Hit hard, right to second, and hey. makes a great catch. He's out. Next up, number 23. Oh, there's Sandberg Jack right Morris on. must be the pitcher. High drive, mm. deep to right, and makes the grab. Next up, number 22. So anyway, here's that same screen because it, even though this grass is not the brightness of the other, it's a, it's obviously the same pitching hitting screen as is a dome. You can see right there. There's a giant blue wall. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> the Peter and their odd base run. And no one left on in the top of the first. Ricky Henderson, no Wade Boggs, Cal Ripken. Leading off, number 24. Actually, it kind of looks like the Phillies uniforms are a little brighter. Next up, number 26. Oh, I'm doing a lot of bad hitting. He's out. Since I Next switched up, to it, well, the last game was bad. Oh, I can't crush anything. Go a little longer. I'm going to go one more inning for this before I end it. But like I said, I'm going to actually, <laughs> if you like statistics, or you want to see how nuts I was trying to keep statistics, stay tuned for the end of the video. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Close to second. Because if you do season play, it doesn't track your stats, you know, it has your win-loss record, but it doesn't keep individual player statistics. So I have to do it myself because I love statistics. Alright, I need to serve one up, see if they can hit a home run. Nope. That was Howard Johnson on the Mets. Next up, I don't know if I can remember who everyone is. It does tell you what team they're from. So this... I don't know, is, that, is Eddie Murray on Delivered. the Mets? The runner I think he for might second. have been. Swing and a ground ball to second. Close to first. Got him. Side the reach. Mets had a lot of power at this time, half. too. The score is so here we got nothing, Fielder, nothing Canseco, time. and Puckett. Now, Fielder and Canseco, I think we're the top home run guys. 45. Two, Hopefully I can crush one of these. Fielder hit 50 homers. He drops it. He drops it. There's an error. So actually, uh, another. This is again the early 90s. This is the year before this. That's another hit. I think. Oh, I sure he's gonna make it. Yeah, I tried to see Fielder hit 50 home runs. I went to, to Yankee Stadium the night before he did it. 
to second. Yeah, he has it. Close to second. He's out. Close to first. I think it was the He's night before. Out. I went that series because the Tigers play. ended the That's season at Yankee Stadium. And I went one of those nights, but it wasn't the night he hit it. Alright, so I'm going to end this portion of the video here. But if you want to see a little bit more of just me looking through a notepad of numbers, don't turn it off just yet. Now here's the big stats notebook, 200 sheets. <laughs> Some are torn out, but yeah, I kept a lot of stats. Not just this game, but a few other things are in here too, I believe. I'm just going to show you this game. And I was going to show you the game box too, I guess, since you know, since I'm doing this video portion, I might as well. Although I do put a scan at the end. This had um, some kind of VHS tape offer, which is why I cut out the barcode here. Game box might be a little dusty. And of course, the cartridge manual. It's a decent manual, 30 pages. Now, I didn't write in the manual, but you can. There's a scorecard page. Of course, it can only fit a few games, and you'd fill that quick. I'm just going to show you the poster here I mentioned earlier. With all the player rosters, the stats, the American League goes vertical. The lighting just keeps changing because the, the clouds keep coming and going as I was trying to set this up, blocking the sun and then not blocking it. So there's some light glare coming through the blinds. So here is my complete stats compiled for the Yankees. Of course, it plays the Yankees every time. And basically what I did, now I have individual player pages. This is just a compilation of all the stats I wrote throughout all the pages. And you know, I got the bats, hits, so the team average, 549, over 900 doubles. <laughs> there are some ridiculous stats, but at the same time, some stats are well below, like home runs, it's kind of low, 153, though I, I didn't play a full season because I clinched the division early, so this season was 123 games, and over 1,300 runs scored, 109 stolen bases, almost all of them are, I believe, from one player, 19 grand slams, I struck out nine times, I walked one time, <laughs> and 28 errors, and then there's pitcher statistics, so I won 117 games, I lost 6, so I do occasionally lose, but at the time I got familiar with the game enough to always, almost always win. And just, you know, with the pitchers gave up, I walked 13 batters, struck out 345. I had to get some strikeouts, but in a full season, a really great pitcher, you know, will get 250, maybe in the best of it, 300 strikeouts. So this is a full team over 123 games. Now, I had 41 game winning streak here. I named my MVP Danny Tartable. And then I wrote down how many games were ended quickly by that 10 run auto win kind of ending games early. There were 68 of those. And then I just wrote down the standings for the division I was in. So the Boston Red Sox were in second. 40 games back, but they had a good record. And then I actually wrote down, I didn't move it to get that clear out of the way. I wrote down basically the box score, more or less, for every single game. <laughs> well, I wrote down you know, the opponent, the starting pitcher on both sides, the number of innings the games lasted, if it was a home or a road game, if I won or lost, the final score, and then the number of hits, home runs, and errors. I had in strikeouts. I did that? Yes, for every game. It probably seems crazy. I put together, obviously, also I drew lines with a straight edge. And this is a lot of work. I guess I needed a piece of tape to fix that one. And this probably looks insane, but then when you go to 
individual players, it'll seem even crazier. <laughs> As I planned for 162 game season, but here's a page I didn't need because it ended too early. So then I've got the individual pitching for the team. I put the lead or the team leaders here. So like Scott Sanderson had 67 strikeouts. I can't remember the first names of all these players, but I gave my MVP for pitching to Pasquale Perez. His team also had Melito Perez, his brother. So what I did, you know, I just put marks and then totaled them up. So game started, wins, losses, innings pitched, walks, strikeouts, runs, home runs, hits. So Scott Sanderson gave up 13 home runs on the season in 25 starts. 149 innings pitched, 67 strikeouts. So I did this for every pitcher. I calculated their ERAs as well. Okay, so let's we'll look at Pasquale since I gave him MVP, 255 ERA or 2.55. Only 58 strikeouts, but I, thought, I guess I just basically based it on ERA. Yankees weren't very good this year. It took a couple more years until they were good. Then hitting fielding. Now, Danny Tartable had insane stats. A lot of these are, <laughs> most of them are Danny Tartable. So, 340 hits for a batting average of 660. 280 RBI. That's probably the most ridiculous stat. I mean, maybe the average, but. 280 RBI. <laughs> That's a lot. I should probably check how many runs I scored. 1338. So he had almost a fifth of the, the team runs batted in. And see, I had 109 stolen bases. Roberto Kelly had 105 of those. So I really didn't run with anyone else. Mattingly surprisingly struck out the most, but he only struck out three times. So Tartable had 65 homers, 9 of them were grand slams. I don't know if this seems insane. I kind of think it does looking back, but I like stats, and this was the only way to do it back then. There may have been a few games that did track stats at this time, but many didn't, so trying to well many also didn't allow you to play a full season, so that was the other thing is I got to do season play and I I wanted to have my stats. I wanted to know just how good I was doing. And so yeah, it took a lot of time really to add all these up. But I also had to have this notebook sitting next to me so that every every batter, if I got a hit, I had to quickly, you know, mark down the at bat, the hit, and, and everything else. <laughs> There's a lot to keep track of. I mean, like you saw at the end of the game, they don't give you the player stats even for the single game, so you have to keep up at every at bat. It wasn't. I keep saying insane. <laughs> it really it was a lot of work. And then there was also the playoffs. So I gave Tartable the MVP against the Angels. But he wasn't the World Series MVP. Now I did sweep the Angels in four games. Two 10 nothing ones in games three and four. 21 runs in one of the games. There wasn't a lot of stats, of course, with only four games. It's a much smaller page. World Series, I gave the MVP to Matt Noakes versus the Expos. Did have a game go full nine innings and won eight and a half innings. So that's what I did. Now, I mean, now that is crazy. Here's some other stats. This is like a pennant race. See that? That was nuts all. I also kept track of all-star games. <laughs> Not as much here, but I did, well, I did play a full page here of all-star games where I did some tracking as far as home runs and runs. Where's that? Here it is. I'm just going to jump ahead. I didn't do, just do this once. I did it for a whole second <laughs> season. So I did this twice, full seasons. This season was, um bit better because I, I only had one loss. I had a six or a 74 game winning streak that was ended by the annoying Red Sox. 
who also had a good season again. They had a really good season, 86 wins when it ended after 125 games. So my batting average is, I think, a little lower here, but Danny Tartle had a few more home runs. And he got MVP again because he was the best hitter. Yeah, I'm going to end this soon because you don't need to look at all these. It's gonna, the inning stats are the most fun, right? So here we go, hitting, fielding. 68 home runs. He had 65 in the first season. Mattingly led the team in doubles this time. And Kevin Maz actually had 12 triples. So this is a fun thing I thought to do. I said I love my stats. And when the video games weren't ready to do that yet, I had to do it on my own. So it's a fun game. I played it, played it a lot, obviously, two full seasons. So, let me end the video here. Thanks for watching, and especially thanks for uh, checking out my stats.